morning folks joining you this morning from our brassica grazing trial just giving you a real quick update on how things are going uh, our cattle are, are uh, growing quite well you can kind of see uh, some of the uh, uh, size of these cattle and and also uh, some of the forage that we have available for them they're doing a really good number on the brassica at the moment uh, we're really pleased with how this is uh, going so far Probably going to have to back off of our stocking rates a little bit. The weather has turned down uh, uh, and slowed things down quite a bit, so uh, we're probably going to have to back off a little bit. But overall, I think we're pretty pleased with how things are going. Um, the forage uh, tends to uh, uh, run through them quite well. We've got uh, some uh, uh, pretty uh, watery feces out here, uh, but it tends not to be squirting out. Uh, it's not scattered across. Uh, large areas uh, tends to be in uh, um, in pretty good sized piles and not uh, in, a, in an arc type of uh, fashion <laughs> so as a result uh, I feel like we're probably pretty good on roughage we probably could thick it up a little bit by putting out some roughage out there for them uh, but at the moment I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna rock on with it as it is uh, as we get ready to go into uh, um, the holiday break here uh, we're probably going to uh, rotate them to make sure they got a fresh paddock uh, to go through the uh, the week uh, we'll be checking them of course uh, uh, on a daily basis but uh, we still want to make sure that they don't have to be handled too much so we're gonna give them a little bit extra as a Christmas present I guess so uh, anyway just uh, wanted to give you a quick update um, and uh, while we're at it I'll just say a few words briefly about our rye and ryegrass pastures uh, they def definitely are uh, uh, hanging in there although this one's probably a little bit grazed heavier than what we really would like we have some of these have got quite a bit of, uh, of clover to them and that's what I'm really impressed by is is how much clover we're actually able to get in uh, this early you know crimson clover normally doesn't really uh, do extremely well until we get into say late January, February and, and March time frame. But right now we've actually had pretty good luck with it. Uh, I'm pretty surprised as to how well it's, it's actually doing. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, share a little bit with you about how things are going and uh, hopefully uh, uh, everyone's doing well and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and happy holidays and a very prosperous new year. Get to work, boys. It's Monday, not Sunday. I think I have a cult following. 